Good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. Yesterday we looked at the question of what to do with our one broken heart. And we're going to continue that a little. Jesus encountered great brokenness and a very deep darkness. A darkness so deep that it caused him to say, Why have you abandoned me? And so we might ask why this brokenness happens, why this darkness. And if you were to ask Jesus why the darkness and brokenness happened to him, he would say that we were asking the wrong question. And we might be asking the wrong question in our own lives. Very often when we ask that question, we are looking for someone to blame. And there is no such cause and effect. For Jesus, the darkness happened so that the power of God could be seen in him. There is brokenness that's not about blame. There is brokenness that makes a canvas for God's light. There is brokenness that makes windows straight into the soul and washes your dirty wounds. A grace that embraces you even after you've done everything wrong. There is a grace that holds you when everything is breaking down and falling apart. And this grace whispers to you that everything is somehow breaking free and falling into place. Let us not give in to shame and to fear. All is grace. We are safe. We are safe here in Christ's body. You can struggle and wrestle and hurt, but your brothers and sisters will be there for you. Grace will meet you in those who serve you. And always remember, there is a doctor in the house who binds up the broken-hearted, a wounded healer who uses nails to buy freedom and crosses to resurrect hope. The same hand that unwraps the firmament of stars wraps a liniment around our wounded heart. One who breathes and births galaxies into being births healing into the broken heart. Suffering is healed by suffering. Wounds are healed by wounds. Only the wounded Christ can heal us. In Christ, no matter the way, no matter the storm, No matter the story, we always know the outcome. Our Saviour surrounds us. Our future is secure. Our joy is certain. When we know Christ, we always know how things are going to go. Always, always for our good and always for his glory. His love lodges light into our wounds. There is no growth without change. 
There is no change without surrender. There is no surrender without pain. And there's no abundance without breaking. Wounds break open. Break open the soul to plant the seeds of deeper growth. Let us pray. Father, what a grace to know that no matter the brokenness in our lives, we are held. That your, your woundedness, the woundedness of Christ, comes to us in the times of our despair, the times of our own pain, and wraps our broken hearts and holds them and reminds us that you are here, that hope springs eternal, and that whatever the pain, new seeds are being planted, and hope will gather, and hope will bring life. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.